Hi everybody, it's Leslie from Scrapping Life Away at blogspot.com and today I'm here to show you how I make my homemade alcohol inks, DIY alcohol inks. Let me show you the products we're going to um, need to do that. First of all, paper towels. going to need gloves or else your hands are going to be multicolored for days and weeks. Sharpie markers permanent marker, sharpie markers. That's what we're going to use to get our color. I have a mini mister here and it's filled with alcohol and I'm going to use that for cleaning purposes as I go along. A Dixie cup. This is about, I believe, uh, I think it's a five ounce Dixie cup and the tubes that we're going to be using are two ounces so this gives us plenty of room to um, to soak our guts from our sharpies in here so these um, I got these at Walmart and they were 97 cents a piece not bad you're going to want a measuring cup like well uh, a funnel sorry not a measuring cup because what you're going to want to do with this is this will fit right in here like that see and then you're going to have less of a mess when you just take it and pour it in here like that so you'll have that also you know what you're going to want to cut this down so it's not resting right on the bottom so when you screw that in it's right on the bottom that's too long you want to cut a little bit off and at an angle so that way if you have anything that has any mica in it um, like for glimmer mist or whatever, um, you have room to shake it up. And plus if any color settles at the bottom, you want to shake it up so it doesn't clog, clog the bottom for you. You're going to want um, an X-Acto knife, a sharp pair of scissors, a cutting surface because I don't like to cut on my mat because it will ruin it. So I might put some um, something over this to kind of protect. This is just a piece, a uh, cheap piece of wood um, that I think I, I don't even know where I got it. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm going to use as my cutting surface. And the main ingredient is isopropyl alcohol and it is 91%. So let me get all set up here and we'll get going. Okay, my friends, here we go. Got my gloves on got this. Now, these come in handy here. I'm going to wiggle this and look at that. That is some yellow yumminess. Okay, now, before I do that, of course I had to color coordinate as much as I can. I also labeled it yellow because I'm OCD that way. I've also cut my tip. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour two ounces without making too much of a mess in here. Let's see if I have room. I'll put my little spray thing in here. I do. A little too much because I want to be able to shake it. Put a little bit off here. Let's see, how's that look? Yeah, that's good. All right, now here's my Dixie cup. And yes, I labeled it yellow because I'm doing all the colors tonight. So I labeled everything. All right, so now what I'm going to do. Take this and dump it into my Dixie cup. Go ahead and screw that back up. Now comes the fun part. Well, before I do that, let's get the nib out of there. Ooh, look at that. Drop it in. Get that out of the way. Now, 
I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it in half just like so. Now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut this in half without cutting myself would be preferred. Okay, now you you know sometimes you can put it in with the plastic, but I I prefer to just open this puppy right up. Oh, I missed a spot. Look at all that color, man! That is some bright yellow. Oh, it's not going to come out all the way. All right, well you know I'm just going to put it in like that. Whew! Look at how yellow my hands are. My gloves, not my hands, my gloves. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open that up just so I can get that alcohol in there. And voila. All right, now I'm just going to let that soak actually for a couple of hours. Um, what I do with my, I have a mini mister here with alcohol in it for cleaning. Man, I don't want to leave that laying around. Could you imagine spraying that? Here it is, sorry. Could you imagine spraying that on something that doesn't belong? Yikes! Alright, first thing I want to do, actually I'm going to set this aside and I'm just going to let it soak. Like I said, I'm going to do all of those and then um, all the colors So yeah, you, you want to clean your, your scissors and all that stuff because you don't want to transfer the color, you know, from, you end up with ugly colors. But yeah, I just spray a lot of alcohol on it like that. Wipe it off. Not that my exacto knife skin really matters, but hey. All right, now that's clean and ready to use. And that's all there is to it. And I will come back when, um, like I said, I'm going to let that sit for a couple hours. And then um, we'll come back and revisit it and see, and we'll pour it in there and we'll spray it and see what it looks like. And uh, we'll have our own alcohol inks. So uh, I'll be back in a few. Hi friends. Okay, it's been a while. I've had this soaking for about mm, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Cooked dinner, did the dishes. Um, so this is ready to go. So let's get this ready here and see what we have got. I had my needle nose pliers and scissors and everything soaking some alcohol just to keep them clean. All right, and I'm going to scoot in here and grab one of the cartridges or the guts, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to poke my X-Acto knife through here to get a good hold on it. Let me switch hands here. And then I'm just going to squeeze. Make sure I get all the color out of it. Squeeze. Careful on the tip of that knife. I cut this pretty deep. Open it up pretty wide so it should be uh not a whole lot of color left in there. You can see there's a lot of white in there. Oh what the heck, let's just use I got gloves on, so I'm also just use my fingers. What am I who am I fooling? Let's just try this. Why not? All it can hurt is I have yellow gloves, right? So I'm just twisting it. I do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set this on a piece of uh, 
napkin or paper towel that I have right there. Let's get that other one out of there. You know, these gloves, too, you know, you can get these really cheap at the drugstore. I work with special needs kids, and um, every once in a while I do find myself with a uh, pair of gloves in my back pocket. See, all that color's gone. It's almost all white. Cool. All right, let's get that nib out of there. Not much there. So I'm going to wipe these fingers off here. All right, I'm going to take my X Acto knife and my um, needle nose pliers. I've got a little cup of um, alcohol here. I just have them sitting in to ke help keep them clean. What did I do with my paper towels? Always clean up before I'm ready to be done. All right, here we go. So it would help if I turned it right side up for you, wouldn't it? All right, I've got my yellow. I've got this. Make sure we're in frame so you can see that. And I'm just going to pour this in there. You know, while I've got it in there, I'm going to take my spray bottle of alcohol. Let's kind of clean that out. Of course, you know, I do want to spray my, I do want to spray this a little bit too, so I shouldn't have cleaned that yet. I just want to get as much bang for my buck. Okay, I'm going to throw this in the trash. I'm going to clean this out. So it's not contaminated. For the next one, Ready to go. And this is my yellow. Let's see what kind of color we get. Wow. I know it's not coming. You can't see how. Uh, it's pretty yellow. And it's probably not, the lighting's not the best. The sun's getting ready to go down here. So let me just do it up like real close. So it's just like a, can you see that? Beautiful yellow. That makes some beautiful yellow flowers. Let's drip it. Pretty cool. All right, I have already got all the rest of my colors soaking, and I am going to go ahead and do the same process and get all of them into their little bottles that are all named because I'm anal that way. And uh, when I'm done with all of that, I'll go ahead and show you all of the colors that we have and how beautiful they look. So be back in a few. All right, here we go. I got all of the markers squeezed into the alcohol. They're ready to go. And I want to show you these colors. I really hope this light helps. Um, it's the sun setting down here. All right, this color here, this is purple. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to try and do it real close so that way you get a more concentrated look. 
Look at that. Can you see? It's looking blue on that. But let me tell you, it is not blue. It is very, very violet purple. All right, the next one we have is Barry. And by the way, the names of these um, are right from the markers. And I went to um, I went to their website, um, Sharpie.com, and looked up the names of the markers because I thought I might as well name my inks the same as the markers. That way, if I want to redo them, I can. All right, this is the Barry. It's almost kind of a pink. It's like a pinkish purple. Ah! You can see that. That's your not kind of cool. I'm liking these. And the orange. Yeah. These are fantabulous. Let's do the yellow. The red. Oh, lime green. Every girl needs lime green, especially my granddaughter. She's all about the lime green. Okay, and then this is the green. It almost looks kind of like a, there we go, got a little bit of, almost looks like a teal. Wait till you see this one. Love it. Looks blue, but it's not. It's fabulous. All right, now the next one I have, this is turquoise. I'm telling you, these are so beautiful. Wait till you see this blue. Oh my gosh. Look at that blue. That is a royal blue. <laughs> Splattered on everything. Now, the next one I have here is black. I'm no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. It's brown. Looks kind of cool. Ooh, look how that drips. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we've got black. I like how the black, the black almost has like a purple undertone, which is to be expected. But look at that. Now, I did do the gold, silver, and bronze, and I don't like the way they turned out. So I'm going to have to fiddle with those, but I wanted to show you something too. I know these are spray bottles. Excuse my phone. Someone's trying to get a hold of me and they're just going to have to wait. But I didn't have any of the like dropper bottles or any dropper. So I kind of found this at Michael's. Don't remember how many were in a pack. I don't remember how much I paid for them. I've had them for a while, but let me show you. Where's my blue? First of all, you know, you could just do this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The splatters. But if you take this, and you only want a little bit, you don't hold on to it there. Well, we can see it. Look at that. It just runs right down. Can you see that? What did it cost me to do all this? Nothing. Hardly nothing. And then I'm just cleaning this out with some alcohol that I have over here that's sitting in a cup. And now it's all clean and ready to use on another color. But how cool is that? I mean, the bottles were 97 cents each. The, uh, the markers were like to something on sale during back to school. Um, you know, the alcohol is like, you know, a buck, two bucks. 
a little bit of time, you know, and really not that much time. I mean, I was able to do this and do other things in between it. Um, get some rubber gloves, wear some old clothes, I'm wearing my son's old football jersey thing. I definitely have a little bit of splatters on me. But, I mean, look at the colors. The colors are fabulous. Then, of course, my drippage that I put on there. But isn't that cool? That almost looks like a goblin. <laughs> it's not even. Please, we're just getting into summer. I don't even want to think about goblins yet. But anyway, that's my tutorial on my um, homemade DIY alcohol inks. Um, I'm not the first one to do this. I've seen tons of other girls, um, and I don't even know your names, but those of you who have done them out there um, on YouTube, I thank you because you gave me the inspiration to do mine and saved me some money. So I appreciate it. I hope you all learned something from it. Um, have a great day, everybody. And uh, I guess I better go answer my phone because somebody really wants to get a hold of me. But have a great week, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.